What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So I wanna show you guys how I got a jailbreak theme on my non-jailbroken iPhone. Uh, because I know people are gonna ask, where the hell did you get that theme from? That theme is awesome. I wanna use it and I wanna get it. Well, unfortunately, um, it's a jailbreak exclusive icon, at least to my knowledge. Um, so basically to get this theme, you must be jailbroken. But the question is, is how did I get it on a non-jailbroken iPhone? My 12 Pro Max uh, is this iPhone here and it's on iOS 15 and not jailbroken. So basically I ported it over from a jailbroken iPhone. Now I'm gonna ramble a little here for a second because I really wish, I really wish uh, repos would allow people to purchase themes without a jailbreak because these icons, we can still use them on a non-jailbroken iPhone. And I think there's a lot of people that would still purchase these themes, even though they don't have a jailbroken iPhone, just to be able to use them, no jailbreak. So for example, this theme that's on my 12 Pro Max, which is an amazing looking theme, which is called, I think it's pronounced Ruzitz, Ruzitz, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is these are all the icons for this theme. And like I said, on iOS 14 and iOS 15, you can create custom icons with the shortcuts application and use whatever custom image icons you want to use. And that's what I've done, is I've used this theme to theme my icons, which I think looks freaking awesome. We get a little shortcuts banner, but hey, it's, it's pretty clean. And it's only like 5% of the time does that ever show up but there's a custom icon, it opens up TweetBot, it's for TweetBot, and it looks pretty damn cool, and it works. No jailbreak. So how to port a theme over? Well, first off, you need an iPhone that's jailbroken. Now the downfall of this is that if you're jailbroken, you don't care about doing this because you can use it while you're jailbroken, but once you lose your jailbreak, you no longer have access to this theme. So there's two options here. Either A, you do it while you're jailbroken, which 99% of people probably aren't going to do. Or B, you're like me, you have an older, an older iPhone that you can use for jailbreak stuff, and then you can port it to the newer iPhone. So those are the only two options you really have. So this makes this a pretty rare thing, I guess you could say. Not very many people are probably going to do this. But I think a lot of people are going to wonder how the heck I got these icons. So this is how I did it. So on the jailbroken iPhone, I went into Cilio and I went to, you know, some of my favorite repos like Packix and uh, Twict and um, Urepo and other repos where I've, where I've bought and paid for themes and I've downloaded them onto my jailbroken iPhone. So like Mint 4, I don't think you could ever get this ever again unless you're jailbroken. And it's such a cool looking theme. Like that is a really cool looking theme. Even though, you know, the settings icon says A12, who cares? It's cool looking. And I, the only way you can get it is jailbroken. And that kind of sucks. So I wish, I wish repos would, would allow us to like go to their website and buy or re-download this theme. Like I've already paid for this. I would love to be able to just download it whenever I want. But it is what it is. So here's my workaround. So on here, I've downloaded all of these awesome themes from the last few years that I've invested money in, time, you know, whole shebang there, lots of cool themes, downloaded them onto my iPhone 10. And now for the next part, you need Files. So just go into Files, and I'm backed up all the way in my file directory. I can't go back any further. And you just go down to Library, and then you just go into the Themes folder. And here are all of the themes that I have downloaded. Now in here, there are a lot of um, pointless things, unless you're jailbroken. Like you get AEs. I mean, AEs you could still use on a non-jailbroken iPhone, surprisingly. It's called Layer Eyes. Search that up once. Layer Eyes is pretty cool. You can add like icon shadows and icon effects to your apps. Pretty cool looking. But a lot of the other stuff isn't really necessary to have, like the docs. You know, we can't use a custom doc. 
like that, like that one in specific on a non-jailbroken iPhone. So you don't really need that kind of stuff. So basically you just need to hunt through here and find the themes icons. And it can be a little confusing and it might take you a little bit of time, but you know, if you really want these kind of jailbreak exclusive themes, this is just what you need to do. So I'm going to do it for, I think, Kobu, because Kobu has some really cool horror characters um, that I think would be really cool to make a setup for since we're getting closer to Halloween. So here's Kobu. Here's the main icons here. This is a glyph style theme. I will probably do a setup for this uh, here soon. It's a really cool theme. And like I said, they have some really cool character icons like Dragon Ball Z icons or Dragon Ball Z characters, as you guys can see here. And there's also like superheroes, Pokemon, and then there's horror movie characters, which I think is awesome. And it would go really well with a setup since we're getting close to Halloween. So let's port this theme over so I can use it on my non jailbroken iPhone. Now, as you can see, the theme is uh, basically broken down a little bit here. There's some subsections. Uh, this is the main icon bundle, and then these ones are basically the additions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each one of these individually, and then I will organize it in my iCloud. So from the main icon theme, what we're going to do is click Edit, and this house, houses all of the icons. We're just going to do Copy. We'll hide that and then we're just going to click paste so now we have two of the same folders now i'm going to edit this and i'm going to rename i'm going to call it kobu one so i remember what it is and then i click edit on kobu one i do more and i'm going to create a zip file out of that now it's going to take a little while because i think kobu has like something like 800 icons there we go not too bad We'll click edit and now we're going to go ahead and open in. Save to files. And in my themes folder, so this is in iCloud Drive. So in iCloud Drive, I can access all of this stuff from any of my iOS devices, from my, from my jailbroken iPhones to my non-jailbroken iPhones to my iPad, even access it on my Mac. That's the beauty of iCloud Drive. So what I'm going to do is go into my themes folder, which I've created and I've showed, shown this multiple times on the channel. These are all the themes that I've been collecting um, since iOS 14, basically, once we were able to start doing this. So a lot of these are from Gumroad or from uh, the, the creators themselves directly on Twitter, as you can see by some of the names. So in this folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it not Kobe, Kobu theme. So we'll click done. And now we're gonna save this zip in that folder. So we'll just click save. And now we can click done and we can actually delete the zip. And then we can uh, delete Kobu one. We don't need that in our file system anymore. So now what I can do is exit out of files. I go into files and I have this so that it's showing me by date. So you can have by a name, by size, by date, so whatever's newest. And if I go into Kobu theme, I can just click on the zip file and it's going to extract the zip. I can delete the zip. And now we're just waiting for all of the icons to unpackage and be uploaded to iCloud Drive. Yeah, there's a lot of icons. Looks like 830 different icons. So there we go, there's, there's all the main icons for the theme. Now this might take a little while for my iCloud to upload because I've been doing this all day. I've been doing, <laughs> I've been working on my jailbreak themes, porting them to my, to my iPhone. So now that we've done the first set, what we can do is rinse and repeat. We can go ahead and do that uh, to all of these. And the way you want to do it is you want to make sure you move the folder that holds all of the icons. You don't want to do this folder because this folder holds another folder and that folder is what holds all the icons. So from here, I'm just going to do edit, copy, paste, and then I'm just going to do edit again and rename this one to Kobu2. Click done, click edit, click on it, 
more, create a zip file. Again, we're just basically rinsing and repeating. Now I know a lot of people, this is gonna, you know, they're not gonna wanna do this because this is a lot of work to move a, a bunch of different themes. I mean, if you're doing one theme, it's pretty quick, but if you're doing a full library of themes, it, it is a bit of work and it does take some time, but I think it's worth it. I think having an iPhone look this cool, like my 12 Pro Max with those awesome icons, is it, it makes it worth it. So we'll do open in, we'll do save to files, and then in themes, I'm just gonna find the Kobu folder right there, and then click save. Now we don't need to go in there right now. What we can do is just keep doing this to the other packs or the other the other um, icons. So number three, same thing, edit, copy, paste, edit, rename, Kobu 3, edit, create zip, edit, open in, save to files, themes, Kobu, save. Done, we can clean up our file system. Remember, you always wanna clean up your file system when you're doing this as well, because I am literally in my iPhone's file system. We'll do the Pokemon ones. So again, copy, paste. And I know this is kind of repetitive, but this is just how you do it. Create zip, and this is how I've done it. And I know people are gonna ask me, how, how did you do it? How did you get those icons? This is how I did it. <laughs> Open in. Oh wait, we need to rename. This one would be Kobu 4. I mean, if you don't wanna be as organized as me, you can just copy and paste it and just remember that you know, what icons are in which icon bundles and all that. Um, create zip. Open in. Save to files. Themes. Kobu, save. Done, clean out this. And then we just have the horror movies icons which will be Kobu 5. Create zip. Like I said, I really wish repos would just allow us to go to like their website and download these previous purchased themes. Now it makes sense, yeah, you can't do tweaks, but the themes, you can do the themes. There we go. So we have transferred all of the Kobu icons to iCloud Drive. So now I can go in there. Here they all are. We'll unzip number two. Delete that. Unzip number three. Delete that. Unzip number four. Maybe. There we go. Oh, I did it twice. No, maybe not. Delete that, and then Kobu 5. Maybe. Oh, I have a bajillion of them now. I clicked it so many times. Oh, well. My, my iCloud is really laggy right now because I've been doing so much of this. But I'll figure that out at a different time. But anyways, now if I move my iPhone 10 out of the way and I go on my 12 Pro Max, if I back up here... As you can see, when I go into themes now, and I have this sorted by date, so it's showing me the newest files added in there. Here is the Kobu theme. Here they all are on my 12 Pro Max, which is not jailbroken. And we'll have to wait for these to load, but here are all of these PNG images that I can now use. Oh, the, the app is called Icon Board. That's what it is. Icon Board allows you to do the glyph style icons, which is really cool. But anyways, um, here are all of these themed icons that I could use, no jailbreak required, and that's how I port them over from a jailbroken iPhone to a non-jailbroken iPhone to look like you guys are seeing it there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.